Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing okay. If you're new, welcome, my name is Claire. I often get asked how I do my packing if I'm going away on holiday or away for the night or whatever. I've recently come back from Paris. I went for three nights and two days and I went with Yuling and I didn't pay any extras. I just went with a tiny, tiny cabin bag. And this is what I filmed for you. <laughs> I'll show you what's inside and uh, the stress about trying to fit it all in because I like to bring loads of things. I like to bring lots of makeup, lots of skincare, hair accessories, jewelry, filming equipment, because I've uploaded my vlog a couple of days ago and yeah outfits I need I need pajamas I need lots of underwear and I need day outfits and night outfits because I don't like to wear the same clothes <laughs> all the time although saying that we arrived Thursday night and I stayed in the same dress as I flew in so I couldn't be bothered with that. Viewling has one of the smallest cabin bag sizes I think it's 40 times 30 times 20 which is smaller than like EasyJet and I believe Ryanair as well so it was a nightmare trying to find a bag to fit. I managed to get one from Next for I think it was about 16, 17 pounds something like that. It's slightly over but in it's you know I'm talking slightly you're not going to notice at all and it can be bulked out a bit as well you can slot in quite a bit in there so I didn't think it would ever be possible for me to have a little tiny carry-on bag for a whole weekend away with everything that I need but I did it and I'm really proud and I filmed it for you so I hope you enjoy watching and um, yeah I'll speak to you soon <laughs> Right, starting off with what I'm wearing tomorrow. So lots of nude underwear. I've got a belt hidden in there as well. Oh, excuse my hands. I've been downsizing my makeup. This is a really old dress, but it's really comfy. I'm going to be traveling most of tomorrow. So it's nice and thin and easy and yeah, easy to pack away. Then I've got my denim jacket. It's 33 degrees in Paris, but it does get a little bit chillier in the evening. But I've got English money in here in another pocket. I've got, um, I've got headphones. Then I've got my GoPro in there in a case. <laughs> I got my wallet in there. I do need a fit, which I don't think I can, an umbrella. I'm catching a train from Carmarthen to Cardiff to meet my friends. So I've just got some of these just to eat on the train if there's no one there to sell me drinks. Bringing a hat, always wear a hat. And this sort of goes with every colour that I'm wearing. I've got some hair extensions in here, so I'm going to pop them in my hair tomorrow. Just easy to style my hair with them in. They're just clip-ins. I can either do a messy bun or a sort of low bun when I'm wearing a hat. Here is all the jewellery that I'm going to be wearing, but I'm not going to put that on until I go through security in the airport because there's no point. And look at this. This is my bag. This is my bag. It is tiny. <laughs> It is. It looks massive, actually, on um, camera, but oh, well, maybe you can tell with my hand. It is 40 by 30 by 20. Well, it's just over four. It's about 43 and about 30 by 20, and I can squidge it down. I've got to be careful here because that's where my sunglasses are. Oh, that is really heavy. That is really heavy. So I'll show you what's inside then. <laughs> got my glasses and I got my passport in there. Next up, oh, this weighs quite a lot actually. It's my toiletry bag. I have had to downsize so many products in here. So I've got these little samples as uh, facial SPFs. I've got hair products, makeup, sprays, little foundations and serums, little perfume and a bigger SPF there. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. It was jam-packed a little while ago. I don't know if this is a good idea actually, but I want to show you the full experience of my nightmare packing. Oh, all right then, let's do it. So I got a bag. That's a bag I'm taking. So it'll go with the brownish hat and I'm wearing like brown sort of suede gladiators. Then I did have one big bag full of toiletries, but I decided to separate them into two. I think it's two, maybe, I don't know. No, three, three, which I'll show you in a minute. I've had to downsize all my camera equipment. I'm taking my phone with me to take photos. Brought my GoPro 
which is in my jacket pocket. I bought a media mod, which is a casing, which is which can house an external microphone, a light and things like that. But I just can't fit it in here. I literally can't fit it in. So, yeah, I've just got a stick to put it on and that is it. OK, Ooh, I've got my headband in there. I've had to swap out a lot of, oh, and the wire to charge my GoPro. I've had to swap out a lot of clothing for light clothing. Oh, see, it's all random stuff. <laughs> I've placed a comb. What else in here? Oh, these are brilliant. I took these to Santorini. I bought two of them. Well, they came in a pack of two from Amazon. I can't remember how much they were, about £30. But yeah, brilliant. Really, really great pr uh, plugs. So I've got... Oh, what's this? Oh, I don't need that anymore, do I? Oh, that was on um, a little tripod that I had that had the casing, so I don't need that anymore because I can't put it on the bottom of there. Anyway, what else is there? Oh, look at these. They've got some stick-on boobies. Well, now they're, um, instead of wearing a bra, with a dress. Well, I've got a <laughs> hair tie. I'm not, I don't want to take out all the clothes. Oh, what's this? Oh, if I want to take any um, selfies or anything. <laughs> Just random in here. Oh, okay. Got a little brush. See, downsizing everything. In here then, I've got more jewellery so my necklaces and things hold on just give you a show I've got necklaces and bracelets in there plus i've got a little light for my gopro and an extra battery okay i'm just having a feel around because oh no i keep on touching those boobs the stick on thingies I don't think there's anything else actually I think it's just clothing so I've got all my underwear and I've got one set of pajamas I've got a dress for Sunday I've got a dress for Friday night a kimono which I love absolutely love this kimono um and a black little black dress to wear on Saturday night I've got another black dress underneath there then for the day and yeah what am i missing i can't think now but right i'm gonna put all this back in and then i'll show you what i brought here so in this weaver bag i've just got all my brushes i've really downsized them as well so they're the smaller brushes in there but it's just flat doing this is much better than having a big bag because it's just bulky whilst this you know it's really flat so it can um it's easy to see it's easier to squidge in and in this bag, it's looking a bit rough, but I did take it to Santorini. Anti-chaff cream. Well, it's a balm for my thighs. Very, very good. Then I've got my thyroid meds. Then I've got my um, PCOS meds. Polycystic ovary syndrome. Got a pair of tweezers. And I got some really gorgeous lashes. These are from Boots, but I've taken the ones that are in here and swapped it because I thought that case is quite cool. Got some earbuds. Um, in here I've got some pins and some safety pins, some hair bobbles, handy. Then I've got a little sample of wild deodorant, little balm. Then I've got a period disc, so really handy, really handy. I'm always on a period, unfortunately. <laughs> I've got a Ziggy cup as well, which is the same as this, but this is reusable. That one isn't, it's disposable. So yeah, so that's in that bag. And then in this bag then, I've just put a toothbrush in there. I thought that was covered. I'm going to have to sort that out because it can't just stay in there. Oh, I've just realised as well, this is supposed to be clean. It is clean. It has been through the wash, but I'll maybe swap that as well. So I've got a clean powder puff. I've got this gorge. I love this. Cleansing balm from the body shop. Really, really nice. I've got an hourglass blush. Got my favourite little setting powder, little mini there. I've got a Laguna NARS bronzer, Becca Moonstone highlighter, little mini, black eyeliner, gold eyeliner, white eyeliner. <laughs> I've had this palette for ages, as you can tell. I just love it. I do need to get a new one, but I think it's discontinued now. 
but I just really, really like it. It's just got easy shades. Eyes are the window shadow palette. So yeah, so that's all my makeup. Doesn't look much, does it? And then I've got the liquids in there. I've really, really downsized. It has taken me, oh my gosh, from about two o'clock until it's now half past eight. Now it is my fault. I know I'm moaning. It is my fault because I didn't want to pay a 40 odd pound because we're only going for three nights. And I wanted a bit of a challenge and I've managed it somehow. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be all right. It is roughly the same size. It's not like inches different. It's just a couple of centimetres, that's all. <laughs> but yeah, wish me luck. So I managed it, no problem whatsoever. It was quite heavy because I had a dress like this. It was cutting into my um, shoulder there, but it's fine. <laughs> Easily fitted underneath the seat in front of me on the plane. Yeah, I really liked the fact that I just had a bag and I had my denim jacket, although I never wore the denim jacket because it was like 29 degrees in Paris, but I just wanted to bring it so I could slot extra things in it <laughs> if I needed to, but it was all right. It's just nice just to go somewhere with just one bag and that is it. If you're on a lookout for a bag, then I'll pop it down below in my description. So thanks for watching. Take care. <laughs> Bye.